Jeff, thanks for being with us. What are some of the bigger, more popular subsectors of the Green Initiative right now? Well, I would say uh, for us, you know, it kind of runs the gamut. You know, you have your energy stocks, you have uh, organic and natural food stocks, um, environmental remediation companies, but primarily we focus on renewable energy and alternative energy technologies primarily because that's where the money is right now. Right. And I suspect it's going to be like that for a long time. So what were the green advances in 2009? Well, And the, the reasons behind them? Well, it's, <laughs> there's a it's lot. a pretty good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I would say by and large policy had a lot to do with it, um, not just in the U.S., but in China as well. You know, China had a great year for solar and wind, and a lot of that stems from not just the fact that they can produce this stuff a lot cheaper and a lot quicker than, than anyone else, um, but the Chinese government has a very aggressive energy p uh, policy in place, um, and a lot of that is going to be based on new alternative energy integration. So is China at the forefront in terms of developing green technology? Are they one of the countries that are ahead of the game? They're ahead of the game as far as utilizing it. We developed most of this technology. A lot of the mm -hmm. technology that we see today has been developed in the U.S. and in Japan and in Europe as well. Um, but again, I mean, China has basically taken what we've developed um, and ha they've been able to, again, produce it uh, much quicker and, and, and a lot cheaper than we can, and that's definitely given them a uh, competitive advantage because really in the, in the world of renewable energy, you know, cost is, is key at this point in the game. So are they more a huge opportunity or are they a threat? China? Uh, huge opportunity. Okay. Absolutely huge opportunity. You can even see now, um, you know, with China's uh, energy policies going forth, um, they're going to become uh, not only one of the largest manufacturers, but they're going to be one of the largest markets. Um, and, you know, it kind of works both ways because the Chinese government is supporting these new solar companies and these wind turbine manufacturers and these battery companies um, because they need the solar panels and the cells mm -hmm. and the wind turbines and the batteries, but they're also taking them outside. They're also exporting this stuff um, to the point even that here in the U.S., you know, we have, uh, you know, the um, funding that's in place that government is going gonna, is gonna to fund a lot of these new manufacturing facilities. So now you have China actually coming here and setting up facilities in the United States, which right. is really unheard of. I mean, usually we, everything is made in China and then, and then we, we, we take it. Mm -hmm. um, but now the, um, the market is just so hot here and, uh, and the Chinese know that if they want to get a piece of that, you know, th that stimulus money, they're going to have to set up shop here and employ uh, domestic, uh, U.S. workers. And that's what we're seeing now. Right. And what about Europe? What are you seeing over there? Europe, you know, Germany especially, really, um, you can thank Germany for really pushing solar uh, forward uh, in the last decade or so mm -hmm. um, with their feed-in the tariffs, and they were very, very supportive. Um, that really helped the, the global uh, solar industry move forward. Um, at this point, you know, there, there's a lot of manufacturing in, uh, in Germany. It's, it's still very strong, but at the, we're starting to see even the Germans now uh, importing so, um, Chinese solar cells and, and, and solar panels. Great. Thank you. My pleasure.